the prelate of Methodist Church Nigeria. His Eminence Samuel Kano Uche has narrated his ordeal in the hands of eight Fulani men who abducted him. The cleric was kidnapped on Sunday along with two others. He was freed on Monday after paying a ransom of 100 million naira to the kidnappers. Narrating his ordeal on Tuesday in Lagos, Uche said, They were torturing us. It was in the process of the torture that I hit my right eye on the tree. And blood was coming out. And even when blood was flowing and it was soaking my handkerchief, they did not feel like anything happened. All they were saying is that we should follow them. That they are not actually against Nigerian citizens, that they are against the government. And that this government is a bad government. They were all Fulani boys. The eight of them were Fulani boys. Uche added that the kidnappers said any day they see the president or any of his representatives, they will chew them raw. That he is their brother. That the man has disappointed them and disappointed Nigerians. I told them I am a church man and they said we should negotiate. That each of us will pay 50 million naira and the three of us will pay 150 million naira. I picked my phone and negotiated. I told my people in the church to get the money. Somebody said we have raised 30 million. I told SOC any money in the office transferred to them. Life is more important than money. That was how we raised that money. According to the prelates, these people came out from the bush. They divided themselves into three places. Some people fired at us and there was another group in the front to make sure that according to the man of God, the leader of the group is about 35 years while the others are about 18. He said they, they took his rings, chain, money and insisted on 150 million naira ransom. The clergy said the abductors came down to 100 million ransom, warning that if they negotiate, they would be killed. I said, okay, we will pay. After some time, they said, where is the money? And I said, this is Sunday night. How can we get money this night? I know that there is this sitter tomb in Igbo land. We can't afford the money now. Be patient till morning. We will contact. He said they lost patience. Let Bishop Dennis Mark down. He raised a knife to cut him. While another pointed gun at me. To show they were serious. I told them we will raise the money for you. But the irony of it. Where they were situated. The soldiers, all of Fulani extraction, Nigerian soldiers, they were there at Lomera Junction and these boys were going behind them. Meanwhile, they kept their cows somewhere. He said some people were taking care of the cows while the abductors were parading them around the bush until they settled at the place. Their leader was born in Igbo land, but his parents have died. He said he was born around Omwahia, Amuzuku, and his father was a cow dealer. The boy understands Igbo. The leader asked them to buy five Ghana must go and put 20 million in each bag. They left to pick the ransom while four others waited on them with guns. Around 5.30 p.m., the youngest boy, who I think is a younger brother to their commander said Olga congratulations you are free you can go now we have got our money you can go let me show you the road they took us to old road where they wrote welcome to Imo, Imo state and goodbye from Abia state they told us that after buying enough weapons they are going to bring all those people that were driven away from Zamfara Kasena, Sambisa Forest, that they, they are all coming to relocate themselves in Igbo land and deal with us. He said, do you know about the expressway? We are in all the bush there. We are also in south-south. We are waiting for the slightest signal. 
we will finish you people and take over this land. They claim that Nigeria belonged to Fulani. The priests maintained that the military personnel of Fulani extraction were aiding the kidnappers who disguised as herders in the daytime and are kidnappers at night. He called on government to take a decisive action. Otherwise, what is happening in the north will be a child's play. On how they picked the ransom, he said the terrorists came to pick up spots with truck without a plate number. Let me show you. They took Can us to uh, old road where they wrote welcome to the demo and the goodbye from Abia. You know, we share boundary, old yeah. road to Isoch. The then they say, you know this road? I said, I don't know. I pretended mm -hmm. because it's my village. Who is my village? I said, I don't know the place. They say, follow this road. You get to somewhere. You will see people there. So mm -hmm. I followed the road. We followed the road through our house until we saw people. But the, what pains me most is that <laughs> these people told us that they are going to bring after buying enough weapons, they bring all those that are, uh, have been uh, put in the Sare, uh, driven away from Zamfara, Karsena, uh, Zambisa Forest, that they are all coming to locate themselves in Ibolan, that there is no security in Ibolan. That uh, they will come there and then they will deal with us. And that uh, the dumb man was just flippant, maybe he took uh, some. He said, do you know uh, Ibado? Ibado, uh, Lagos Expressway. We are in all the bush there. Mm -hmm. We are everywhere there. We are also in the south-south. Uh, so we are, we are waiting for the uh, you know, slightest signal. We will finish you people and take over this land. So they claim that Nigeria belongs to Fulani. Yeah. They said that, that is why we are afraid of you know, I've been talking about this uh, open grazing and uh, this uh, road. Yeah. They have a plan. They have a plan. And uh, I, I accuse the soldiers who are not non, non Christians. Some of them are flying. They are part of it. You know, they are shooting this man. You know, when our people wanted to come the, the bush, the soldiers said, if you move a step, we finish you. Don't go there. So they know where the boys are. They know the location, and uh, what they do is in the daytime they use their cow to confuse people. Then, after some time, the cow will go to rest and they take their gun and do the operation of the napper. Um, government should act decisively, they should act decisively, otherwise, uh, what is happening in the northern part of the country will be a child's play. So what will happen here? So the government should sit up because uh, the primary purpose of government is to secure life and property. Any government that has failed in that has failed woefully. And Nigeria is in, on a reverse gear. Mm -hmm. We are not diving. We are, we are not diving. You know, we don't have security. All the bush we went around, no soldier, no police, nothing. The people, you know, were having a field there. And the, where they release those sports, if they can have people along the Shukwato, they will, they will parade them rah, 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 and then when their parents are released from that particular spot, those they are arrested, they, they, they map along the new express where law panther, they bring them, eventually they bring them there to collect ransom. Those they can map along anywhere, anywhere in the south, around the southeast. So they, are, they know that they are there. And I, I gave that. What I said to the organ, how do you collect this money? He said, don't worry. Once we are through with you, we'll, uh, we will invite uh, motorcyclists. They will come and there will be a truck. A truck will come to, to put the money in the truck. And that the people who paid them said that that was exactly what happened. Immediately they came out from the bush. They, uh, they told them they were monitoring whether there is police or armed. They say, go up, 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 up. Okay, come back, back, come back, come back, come this way, come this way. And then eventually they stopped. A truck came. 
without number. So, uh, the boys will carry one Ghana must go to put in what, until they took the hundred and after they have come hundred to hundred million, they said, okay, you can go. So that's how we came back. So uh, the people have been saying, even some people, I don't know what they wanted to achieve, that I said, what did they see me to say that it was I pop that released me? <laughs> Why did they see me? Why did I see I pop? I didn't say that I pop. So I don't know, they were trying to bring in political and religious coloration. So what I know was that, uh, in fact, when they were talking about market, that I didn't know what it meant. For over 12, 13, 14, 15 hours, no food, nothing to drink, nothing to eat. And I was lying on the ground inside the bush. But uh, along with other people, if you want to you want to urinate, you raise your hand. So I can I urinate? Okay, go, 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 go there, go there. Commandment, go there. If you want to go to the toilet, you raise your hand. Yes, okay, go there, go there. Don't come there. Go there, go there. They will send you two people to guard you. You come back. So that's the Nigeria we are in. It's unfortunate. This is what ha exactly happened. And all the efforts that we have made was by my church. You understand? Yes. Every effort made was by Methodist Church, my church. Not police, not army, not, not, not government. No. So Methodist Church, my church, and made all the contracts and all the efforts. And I want to use this opportunity to thank my I didn't know that my, 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 my members loved me this way. The Methodist Church have so, 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 so great love, stupendous love for their leader. And I knew that <laughs> prayers, prayers you know, were going on in various locations everywhere. And this morning, when I opened my phone, I was receiving calls from Canada, from the US, from the UK, from uh, Russia, from uh, even Dubai, from Talking every part of the group, and uh, it was too much, so I had to switch off again. But if I start answering those calls, mm -hmm. I, I will be having a headache. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened clearly. I want the press to know what actually happened so that people will not come and tell me what a full story. <laughs> For instance, a government said they, they secured my release. Mm -hmm. I never saw the government mm -hmm. say they secured my release. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, Grace, do you want to know anything about Nigeria? I tell you, we use this one to Are we okay? Anybody from the press? <laughs> All we have to say, Baba. Of us 
before you know it, that day mark the the prelate emeritus, the one that handed over to him, who is graciously here present with the wife, Mama Ezine Makinde, all the archbishops in Lagos and bishops in Lagos, SOC in particular, the Ebu 2IC of His Eminence, and their wives, the ministers, the lay officers, everybody. The signal was so well connected. They came and we rallied around here calling upon the God of Elijah, God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God of Daniel, God of David, God of Joseph, and this time God. If you like this video, subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you.